Last month, one of our own, John Stossel, was diagnosed with lung cancer. Remaining positive, he wrote an op-ed while in the hospital from his bed saying, quote, seems I have lung cancer. My doctors tell me I'll be fine, but as a consumer reporter, I have to say the customer service stinks. So John is back at work and doing just fine, and here he is at work with plenty to say about his time in the hospital. John Stossel, the host of Stossel on FBN, uh, joins us now with his story. First off, how are you? I apparently am fine. I found something early and plucked it out. Went right into surgery? Right. Do you have so to do chemo Took out radiation? half of my left lung, but we have backup stuff in our body. We don't need everything that we have. You have two lungs, so half of one missing. I have to work back to, tr to teach the rest of the right. lung to work a little harder. So, so how no do you feel? No chemo, no radiation? I feel good. No radiation, no chemo. Well, terrific. All right, so there you are. You're, you're in your hospital room, and you're thinking about, I've got lung cancer. I'm going to be okay, though, they tell me. And you're thinking, as things go, the service here stinks. <laughs> It just is stupidly bad. And this is what happens when you don't have a market because markets work when the patient pays, when the customer and the business deal directly with each other. You're looking like I'm not mic'd or something. Well, there's a little crackle there, but that's okay. <laughs> you want to bend him out? Huh? What do I do? Bend, bend the mic out. Here, I tell you what, you use my microphone. Mm, that's going to be a little I difficult. I can tell that. What, this, is, this is weird. There you go. And it's just. Stupid service. You can't email your doctor. You can't text. You wait in line forever to do things. You fill out forms by hand again and again. This is what happens when the patient doesn't pay. Price never gets discussed. No wonder the prices go up so much. So, John, the other thing is you're in the number one hospital in the country, right? U.S. News and World what? Report. In New York City. Right. Other ratings had a Number lower. one more. But so, and the, the medical care, I assume, was great. But this is true at every hospital. The only part of medicine that works well is where you pay yourself. Uh, plastic surgery, LASIK eye surgery. The prices go down, quality goes up, because it's a market. All right, yeah. so what can hospitals do? What do, you, what do you wish that the hospital had done differently? Well, it's not the hospital's fault. The hospital is tortured by government and insurance companies. They're paying the bill. So they don't discuss price with the patient. They don't say, uh, you, you're okay with this test? They just do stuff to you. You, got, you have to have the test. You have to have the surgery. So you don't have a choice. I, I, I have a choice, but nobody asks me. So they John, just go ahead and do it. Why you throw these tests to, to prevent you turning around going uh, and maybe suing? Because suing, because you didn't do that test. They're right. covering their... They're, and they're also tortured by the trial lawyers, because the lawsuits are so expensive in America. And that's why uh, Texas has been successful, keeping prices down, because they have... All right. A little successful. I got a feeling you're, now that you're back, you're going to be talking about this on your show. I t uh, tonight on my show at right. nine o'clock. That's true. It's wonderful and talking about the grief I took for it because okay. what you think it's McDonald's? The commenters. Yes. All right. All right. John Stossel, it is wonderful to have you back. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Glad you're okay. Yeah, right. we are.